finishing touches are currently being made on next year's Devil May Cry reboot, and we were lucky enough to check out what makes it so exciting. You wanna dance? Let's dance! 2013 is now on the horizon, which means that we here at GameSpot are starting to look beyond the Halos, Call of Duties and Assassin's Creed to what we can look forward to in the new year. The first big release on January the 15th in Europe and North America is DMC Devil May Cry, which sees British developer Ninja Theory taking the reins on arguably one of Capcom's most treasured franchises. We were lucky enough to check out a nearly finished build of the game and speak to the developer to see how it's shaping up. What do you think, little one? Should we play with him a bit first? <laughs> yes. DMC takes the series' gothic horror inspiration and replaces it with a more modern take on evil. That means that the demonic forces take the form of corporations, advertisers and banks, all modern evils that are used as a way for Demon King Mundus to control humans. In this nightclub level, which is the 13th mission of the game, celebrities are lured in for drink, drugs and girls, and are then brainwashed by Lilith, the club's demonic manager. Let's change things around. The human world of DMC is drab and uninteresting, whereas the demon-inhabited Limbo world is bright and colourful. The architecture has been modelled on modern European stylings. This nightclub, for example, takes inspiration from one that the developer visited while in Germany. The modern approach also applies to the audio, with Norwegian agrotech band Combi Christ and Dutch electronic group Noisier both providing new music for the game. Round two. How quick are you? The most vocal feedback from fans of the series has been about Dante's hair and general appearance, which has changed quite drastically over previous games. According to Ninja Theory, the original character designs they submitted were similar to the Dante of old, but Capcom sent them straight back saying that if they wanted the same old character, they would have just made the new Devil May Cry game themselves. Ninja Theory says it will satirize the fan reaction to the new brunette Dante at the beginning of the game with jokes about his hair color, while the blonde hair and red coat will still make an appearance when Dante performs angel combos. One element of the previous DMC games which has been retained is the combat, which rewards skill and aims to make you feel as cool as possible at all times. According to Ninja Theory, this is the area where Capcom's expertise really came into play, given that the Japanese company has had decades of experience refining combat across numerous genres. There will still be rewards for triple Sing every level in the form of unlockable concept art. You can also unlock new moves for Dante as you progress, and then reassign the points to new moves as the need arises. The game also seems designed to reward as many playthroughs as possible. For example, you can keep your unlocked moves for your second playthrough, while third and fourth playthroughs will be rewarded with new difficulty levels such as Son of Sparta, Dante Must Die, and Heaven or Hell, which are opened up for the hardcore players. Yeah! Welcome to the Devil Hell Challenge! It's quite simple, Dante. Survive and you get an audience with yours truly, which basically means I get to gouge your brains out myself. Ninja Theory's last game, Enslaved, was famed for its collaboration between scriptwriter Alex Garland and actor Andy Serkis. For DMC, they may be formally off the project, but Alex Garland has overseen scripts from Ninja Theory's chief designer, Tommy Mantoniades, while Giant Studios in Los Angeles, who worked on Avatar, have performed motion capture duties. The team also contacted street artists to incorporate their work into the game to give the outdoor locations an authentic urban feel. Overall, we're really excited about DMC's combination of a bold new visual direction and solidly satisfying combat mechanics. But are you excited about what Ninja Theory has done with the beloved franchise? Let us know in the comments and watch out for the game on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 on January the 15th in Europe and North America with a PC version to follow. You're not coming in. You're not on the list. I am now.